Hello, this is Matt with Digital Trends. This is a video review supplement to the Sony Veo Z series review. And the Sony uh, Z series is notable because it's one of the most expensive laptops on the market today. Uh, base model is 1849. Uh, our review unit was about $1,900 due to an optical drive upgrade to Blu ray. Uh, so it's a very pricey laptop. For that, you receive uh, core i5 processors or core i7 as an upgrade that is a dual core core i7 um, but more importantly just a very very slim light laptop we're talking 0.66 inches without the optional sheet battery about an inch with an optional sheet battery installed uh, and we're also talking at under three pounds so this is a sort of laptop that's designed to be uh, going along with someone who's traveling a lot, who's just on the move all the time. Um, one of the unusual things about this laptop is that they wanted to um, offer that portability, uh, but also offer a lot of power when you need it, so they have what's called a media dock, and that is this little thing right here. Um, it's basically just sort of a black plastic slab, but inside there you have an optical drive, like I said in this case Blu-ray. Uh, you also have a Radeon discrete GPU. Uh, it's a mid-range model so it's not super fast but it did get about it did get over 8,000 uh, 3D marks in 3D Mark 06 so it's not a bad solution. And you also get some extra connectivity. Uh, so let's the, put that in front of you again. You see you've got HDMI, VGA, um, you got some USB ports, so that sort of gives you a little extra oomph to the laptop. And the idea is to give you the best of both worlds. And for the most part, it works. Uh, the Sony um, Z series is a very powerful laptop, but also a very portable laptop. Really, the only issues that we um, have with it are that it is very expensive. Um, there are faster laptops for the price. And uh, considering the amount of money that you pay, not everything is really as luxurious as you would expect. The material qualities aren't really up to the level of other laptops that are in this price range. Uh, the display lid feels a little bit flimsy. You know, it's not bad necessarily, but when you're talking about a laptop that nearly costs $2,000, you do expect a lot. And, not, and the Z series doesn't meet those expect expectations in every category. So you can check out the full review at digitaltrends.com and thanks for watching.